Hello! <laughs> Something popped up on the phone. I wasn't quite sure what to say or what to do. I was trying to read there. It was asking me if I recorded it. So that's new, 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 new technology. We love it, don't we? Hello, hello, peeps. It's Claire and it's six o'clock and Monday night. So we are business bus tonight. Yes, business bus and really excited um, because I love talking about networking. Um, when I set up the business nine years ago, it was a real effort every time I was going somewhere to to make that effort to 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 go to talk to people to get into a room full of men and you know you've got to go and try to make conversation and it's oh just thinking about it it used to give me palpitation and now you know I just every time you know you get more comfortable every time you learn new tips on how to network better and this is what you know and that's why I love sharing those networking tips because if you're in business whatever business you're in whether you're an employee or whether you're on your business you need to be networking you need to be able to talk to people you need to be able to share what you do why you do it and the more confident you get in networking the better you're gonna you know get better business out of it so you know if you're coming in live and you've got some questions please do just write a little message and I can read what's going on otherwise I want to talk to you a little bit more about the yin and yang of networking yes yin and yang of networking because it's always a balance whatever we do there's always a bit of yin and yang it's finding the right harmony for you um, and understanding your own personality whether you're maybe a little bit more introverted or extroverted will really help you to network better so when you think about it the the yin it's your feminine energy of of your brain and the yang is the left hand side is the neocortic brain it's your masculine energy so you know to to be able to to function you have possibly one side which is stronger than the other side so you will need to find out which one you are more um well you're more influenced to be whether you're a bit more feminine energy or you're a bit more masculine energy and that's the case you'll be able to push one up or the other and then i will give you that kind of harmony in doing it so in networking you know for a yin and yang person so the yin person is usually who's got a bit more feminine energy um, it's the, the the quiet you know uh, energy it's the the time when you can create is that imagination it's the quiet time is closing your eyes so that's the kind of that that's the time when you know the, those people who are a little bit more quiet and like to be on their own because they prefer you know the quietness and the stillness whereas the extroverted which are more have got more influenced by a masculine energy on the left brain will be out there and they'll want to see people and they'll want to chat 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 and talk and you know be seen and be heard and all that kind of thing so you know if you're one or the other it's quite important to really look at who you are how you determine your personality and then be able to balance it out but for a networker you need to have a bit of both right okay so as um one of the things that you know the the, the yin energy when you're networking is all to do with listening so whether you're introverted or extroverted you have to listen yes we have two ears and one mouth and we've got to make the most of it and we've got to use it in the same equal level so always listen twice as much as what you talk yes even you the extroverted yes you've got to try to balance it out to listen to other people so you can actually listen better and you'll become a much better networker by listening to people so bring some of that yin energy into you the yin energy as well it's it's all what's happening so inside so it's all your confidence building or not confidence it's how you dress and how you uh, you show yourself so one thing which is really really important if you think about it 55% of people will make an assumption of your perception of you within the first seven seconds of seeing you by just the way you look. The nonverbal communication takes priority out of everything else. So when you're arriving in a networking event, you know, 
be prepared and this is that feminine energy again so be prepared how do you look how do you feel what color are you wearing today if you go networking you know how do you want to feel so would you want to feel orange like me today you know which you know brings some optimisms and enthusiasms and warmth or do you want to be a red with passion and you know even just a, a red tie or some more red knickers it always good when you go networking gives you a bit of fires you know a bit of red socks on the red tie oh yes that brings a little bit out of you or you want to be really trustworthy and wear blue suit and you know this is the, those kind of colors which will make people trust you you know the blues that kind of colors and you can mix it up a bit to have a blue suit with a red tie that would mix it you know a little bit more excited so think about how you actually what you're wearing will where will work on how you're feeling inside so this is really important because you know you need to be in a more confidence possible so wear something that you're comfortable in check out first what is the dress code that's a really big part of it <laughs> that you don't arrive and everybody else is in a completely different style that you feel very uncomfortable but the way you dress will actually bring out of you how you're feeling today. So, you know, think about this before. So that's that yin energy. And to, just to talk a little bit about the more yang energy. So the yang energy is when you start talking. The yang energy is that handshake. So, you know, good old handshake. So you, you give it and you just like, you know, you don't completely squeeze them out out of it but give it a good handshake you know show them that you know you're you're there you're in business and you know you want to actually you know talk to them you know that first connection with a hand and touching it's you know you're building a rapport straight away with your hands so it's really important to have that good handshake this is that yang energy so it's quite important to get it right as well uh, bring some um uh, also you know it's all the verbal so it's all the talking and and uh, the yang energy is about talking fast and you know that activity in it so sometimes you know if you're a little bit too fast think about it you know pause a little bring some yang energy into your speech so you can actually be at the same level as everybody else because if you're going on and on and on and on like that and everybody else is like nah you know you're gonna annoy everybody so you know bring your pace to everybody else's pace so that will then you're you're coming in at the same level and everybody will feel that you know you're building a rapport with them because at the end of the day this is what you're doing wherever you are whatever you do you're building rapport and this is what will make you an amazing amazing networker a connector with everybody listen to what people have got to say be interested ask them questions you know open the questions to them let them talk you know make them feel important you know i talk about that in customer service training where it's exactly the same thing people want to feel important so let them be important you know and the 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 um the the outcome really of networking it's um it's the law of reciprocity you know you're there to actually be of service for somebody else so you know give, give them your attention you know see how eventually you can help them and then you know it will come back to you eventually so you know use that time to really understand what the people are who they are be generally interested be authentic be yourself and utilize that balance that yin and yang into the way your network so just you know if you're not quite sure if you're an extroverted or introverted there's lots of things you can google and do some little exercises to show you you know to just make you a bit more aware of and then you can learn a few more techniques on how to be a better networking and using that yin and yang balance so if you want to know some more, um, I'm doing uh, with Jenny Kitching a workshop on Wednesday night. I know it's in Jersey. We won't be doing any live. So um, if you are in Jersey and you're watching this video at one point or another and you're thinking, yes, Claire, I want to know some more and I want to learn how to be a fantastic networker and bring confidence in public speaking and in networking and all that kind of things. I've got a couple of spaces left. It's Wednesday night, 5.30 at the Club Hotel. 
If you need to want some more or do you want a book, go on bzqueenbee.com slash events and then you'll see it's the first event there you can book until Wednesday lunchtime and then that's it, cut off. We won't be doing it anymore. So just to recap, you know, balance your yin and yang. Really understand your personality, what your body language, what you're wearing will make you feel, will affect the way your emotions and your feelings are, you know, and your behavior. Uh, build rapport with people. This is what it's all about. Networking, it's all about building rapport. Listen to people, bring some good handshake there, you know, to build out, you know, and means that you're meaning business and, you know, at the end of the day, be of service with other people or for other people and it will always come back to you. That's all for, my, for now. I look forward to seeing you Probably not next week because it's Easter Monday, but the week after we'll talk about customer service and yin and yang customer service. So there you go. Any questions, you know where I am, just pay me a message or, you know, on the message or on the comments. If you've got any questions on networking, let me know. Bye for now.